Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Denmark. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And this confrontation is underway. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And in attack today, Cristiano Ronaldo plays alongside Rafael Leao. Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest players of the current era. And you'd have to imagine, Stuart, he's going to have some sort of role to play in this one. Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out the situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. And he could really get at the opposition. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Now veering in field. the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. 1-0 then. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Ronaldo. Happy to take on the shot. Tremendous block. That's a very fine piece of tackling. For Nansch. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. Well, the keeper committed himself. Can someone get on the end of this? Still not clear. Well, that's the end of that for now. Good tackle, take it away. Silva. Oh, a lovely ball. Can he put it away? Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Ottavio. Cancelo. Surely the equaliser. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, Portugal had more of the possession, as you can see, but unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. Understandably, the referee feels compelled to stop play here, given the injury situation.
and they'll get things going again with a drop ball. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Joao Felix might go ahead and there it is they take command in the final and just look at the celebrations here Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And space to attack. But nothing comes of it. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they keep it going? Ronaldo. Ronaldo! And fired against the crossbar. Goal kick it'll be. Bernardo Silva just cutting off the supply Ronaldo Ronaldo Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and Ronaldo made the finish look so easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Otavio. And slipped through beautifully. And a goal! Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Jensen... Skov Olsen on the ball Jensen Martin Braithwaite well he made that interception look routine in truth it wasn't now counter attacking possibilities here all hands on deck well it looked highly promising but it came to nothing in the end
Ronaldo, and it's fallen for Ronaldo, and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now Ronaldo on to Bruno Fernandes can he take the chance oh there it is it's one goal after another and it speaks to the quality of the performance well here's another look and you can see what a good finish this is he holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure that's a great goal the ball rolling again and what has been an utterly one-sided match and now it's all over we've witnessed history Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time well, they've been kings of Europe, now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world.